A National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys coming up next. It's a stadium so big you can easily spot it flying in to Dallas Fort Worth for a game. This is AT&T Stadium here in Arlington. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, Either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over him for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. Blake Groupie out and ready to send this away. And here we go from AT&T Stadium. On the return, here's Rico Dowdle. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. So here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing him out. Coming off one of his best seasons as a pro. An MVP runner-up finish in year number nine. Dak Prescott. I don't think I'm alone in this, Kate. To me, Dak is one of the easiest players to root for their success in the NFL. I think for me and for many others, well, it's based on all he's overcome, from tough playoff losses to significant injuries. But his leadership, his stats, his ability to play like an MVP in big moments, at his best, he really is all you could ever ask for. And his first offering in the game winds up incomplete. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing again is Dak. Short pass caught by his tight end. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted them. They wanted them in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. First down, here's Dak. Makes the catch, but does not do it in bounds. It looks like he came down on that sideline. Second down, coming up. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Another throw for Prescott. Into traffic, complete! And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. The Saints add a fifth defensive back here. Third down coming up. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. When you talk to kickers about kicking field goals of this length, they will tell you, Kate, you've got to keep it a little lower and you've got to drive it. But you still got to be accurate. Basically, all the pieces got to come together like they just did to hit from that distance. Aubrey now to kick this one away. To return this, Rashid Shahid. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. 
So now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Saints take the field. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. One thing you can always trust about Carr is to give you a lot of games and a whole lot of numbers as a starter each and every season. He's just got a lightning quick release. I love watching him throw a football, but he's not gotten a lot of chances at postseason moments. And time, well, time is not on his side. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. Kamara hit behind the line, and the ball is loose. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Mm -mm -mm. Did not want to start like that. They get their shot to show what they can do, and they cough it up immediately, and they're off the field in one play. Did you see what I saw there, Kate? <laughs> I think I saw the excitement leave their body as somebody else was on top of that fun ball. If you're the type to believe in omens, well, this is a very worrying start to this game. Dallas sending its offense out for the second time this game. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one. While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. So the review saves them a turnover. He was, in fact, already down when the ball came free. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. This is Alvin Kamara with it. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know they say it any time he comes up in an interview, but they appreciate having him on this defense so much, Kate because of plays like that one. Those are great instincts. It takes instincts and want to to come up and run support, and not many corners can make that stop. Carr staring down a third and long. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Kendricks. And he takes this one back for the pick six. Just tried a little bit too hard to get that third down conversion. Brock wanted so badly to keep that opening series going, and that one cost him. Yeah, I think it's less, Kate, in this case about the throw and much more about crediting the defense who was ready and willing to be opportunistic. Not just knock that ball away, uh-uh. Yeah. They wanted to take advantage of that opportunity, and they jumped on it. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. On the return, it's Kendra Miller. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Saints to the running back, Alvin Kamara, trotting back out to the field. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Carr trying again after the pick. Taken in by Shaheed. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. The big play nets him 17 yards. 
And that's good for a New Orleans first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Kamara now on first and ten. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Car here from the gun. That's complete to Camara. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Car with it on third and short. That's caught for the first. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. From the shotgun, Carr. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air. Carr fires right away, but incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Going again. It's caught. Complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They got 24 yards on the play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. They have themselves another first and ten. Working inside the red zone. This one's caught. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints reach pay dirt for the first time this game. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock. And they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Blake Groupie to try the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. They'll have decent field position to begin with here, Brock. He's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. Back out come the Cowboys for their second drive. 
And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. They've got first down from the 31. His drive will begin with a run from Elliott. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Okay, that's a run that's ho-hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Second down now, seven to go. Running the counter, Elliott. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Dak now from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes, they so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And that punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Saints will get set to take over. They're out and set. First and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Cut by the open man. And the nice pickup ends beyond the 35 as he goes out. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. This is reeled in by Camara. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On second down, a run with Williams. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Two yards on the pickup. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Blitz coming, Carr. Setting up the wide receiver screen. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. And time runs out before they get the snap off. That's the end of one. Scoreboard shows 10-7. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. We're back for the second quarter. Saints in possession of the football. They're looking at yet another first and 10 on this drive. Wow, wide open here, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. 
They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. First down from the red zone. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Carr setting the throw. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints take a second quarter lead. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's Groupie on now to handle the kickoff. Short kick here, fielded at the 15. They track him down, but a nice return in the end there, Brock. He's up to the 38. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, no, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Prescott here from the gun. He's got a man left. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. They get an even ten on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. Throwing on first is Prescott. To the sideline, and it is caught. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They strike for 23 yards. And now they have a first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. That one's incomplete in the end zone. I think we're starting to get a feel, aren't we, of why they like him so much in coverage. He reacts well to throws, is super adept at breaking up passes through contact, or like that one before they could ever reach the target. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Dak throwing again. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys take a second quarter lead. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead.
You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Returning it from the four. Good looking return here, and he's got room. His return gets him to the 32 yard line before he's taken down. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Carr with it on first. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. from the 37. Rifles it, and it's on the money on the slant. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps the East Drive moving. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They run it from the gun with Camara. And he'll take it past the midfield stripe and start to push into Cowboys territory. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. From just shy of midfield on second down. It's caught right side by Johnson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. Finds a man on the right side. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Textbook hitch route. <laughs> Hit him in the short field and deliver it once that defense turns their attention elsewhere. Okay, this is a low ceiling play, but a reliable source of yardage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Car here from the gun. Taken in by Shaheen. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Third and just two to go. Going again, it's Carr. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. 
You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They are now set for first and ten. Camara running out of the gun. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. We're to the two-minute warning from AT&T. The Saints trailing in the early going. Car to the air now. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Yeah, that's what I call an absolute no-no. I mean, that, that just can't happen down here in the red zone. You've got to find a way to get rid of the football because now, well, now you're not only outside the red zone and you put some points that you thought were a guarantee with either a touchdown or field goal, now a little bit in limbo. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Motioning left is their running back. Carr staring down a third and long. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. So the Saints send out Blake Groupie for the try. It's just a 26-yarder down the middle. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it'll knock this game up late in the second quarter. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. now to handle the kickoff. Return starts from the 16. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Cowboys and wide receiver Brandon Cook set to take over now. They're getting close to a minute to play, Brock, and they're going to need that time with a long field ahead. They've got first down from the 31. First down, here's Dak. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Cowboys have to get moving here. Clock still running. First and ten, Prescott. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And that tackle stops him after a solid gain. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Another throw for Prescott. It's caught. Ferguson. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. 
Kate, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Here's Prescott, first and ten. Throw complete to Lamb. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. From the gun is Prescott. Ferguson there to bring it in. And his short game gets the Manu set of downs. Final timeout taken by the Cowboys. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Dak now from the gun. No place to go, so he just threw it away. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Now Brandon Aubrey will try to knock it through for the Cowboys. From the right hash, a 49-yard look. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Well, Brock Barn, the touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One last play before the break. Throwing it just before halftime. And that one hits the ground incomplete. A single second left now on the clock. That is a DB's best friend's pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Here comes the final play of our first half. He'll throw it. To the left sideline, complete. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. So we've hit the end of two. The Cowboys fighting to the halftime lead here in Dallas. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime report. The Cowboys were treated to a fine first half from number four, quarterback Dak Prescott. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. The first half controlled by the offenses, Brock. Let's see if the defenses can take over in the second half. We're underway. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Saints headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. From the shotgun, Khan. Gets this one to Shaheed. And he'll get it up to the 44. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Throwing on first down, it's Kong. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's a give inside to Camara, And they'll get there and stop him at the line. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate, training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Carl with it on third and shorts into the hands of Olave. A lot of grass ahead. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That's a 38-yard play for him to move the sticks. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Taking a short gain and turning it into an explosive play. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. From the red zone now. He brings it in. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll run with Kamara. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Car off the play fake. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. Well, I think you know the only thing redeeming about that play, Kate. They got the ball back. Yeah, well done. Yeah, they got the ball back for a whole <laughs> lot longer down a distance. So near disaster a moment ago, but the drive's still in trouble if they can't convert on third. Car here from the gun. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharp shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. On fourth down, out comes the Saints field goal team and Blake Groupie. Already has one in this game, this from 30. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that will tie things up in the third. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. on now to handle the kickoff. 
Short kick gathered in at the 15. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Cowboys offense headed out there. First and 10 now from the 30. Play action, Prescott. That's gonna be caught by Cooks. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. Elliott's on first and ten. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Throwing on first is Prescott. He's on the move, trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. And right there's the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators, when you get a nice run, right, you gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts, and reacts well with a sack. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Trying again, following the sack. Quick hitter complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He picks up 28 on the play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Kate, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. From the 25 on second down. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys grab the lead on their first series of the half. You love seeing a tight end get the chance to show off those wheels, right? And in the best of cases, he can rumble the whole way home. Kate, think of getting somebody with that type of mass rolling at full speed. Who's really going to want to stand in the way, wants to stop him anyhow? The answer, nobody. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. He fields it from the eight. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. 
Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year's over. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to go out of bounds, looks a little shorter than 35. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 34. This is reeled in by Camaro. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Kate, I'm going to call that, even though it looks like nothing on the stat sheet, a win win for both sides. Defense, well, they rally. They get right to that throw in the flat for a no gain. The offense, well, they just remind that defense, you not only got to cover us vertically, but we're going to stretch you horizontally as well. Shotgun now on third down. And down he goes. The Cowboy defense gets it done. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. You know, when we watch the Combine each and every single year, I hope you get good enough to understand as a football fan, watch the big guy's first 10 yards. Don't watch the ends and the linemen run 40. Watch their first 10 because that's the most critical. And that defensive end showed you right there the kind of explosive burst in the first few yards to get home for the big sack. Fourth down punt coming for the Saints as Lou Headley runs out to send it away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott ready to get back to work. They certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they could really use some more points on this drive. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line first and ten. Trying an inside give to Elliott. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, I got to talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10 plus, you know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. Going to the ground again on first. Has another lead. And he has it down to the 26-yard line. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. Just one quarter remaining in this one. The Cowboys have it with a lead, but the win's not secure just yet. come up first and ten. First down, here's Dak. Cut near the goal line. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Oh. 
Aubrey now to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Saints come marching onto the field. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Gets this to Johnson. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 28. Finds his fullback. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. First down, ball at the 36. Now they send their back in motion right. Carr with it on first. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. And it's as we expected, partner. We call pass interference, so put it at the spot and give him that first down. First and ten for him now, following the penalty. They go play action with Kong. And he finds the seam down the middle, complete. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints now within one score in the fourth. Chris Olave with the touchdown. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Short kick here, fielded at the 17. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Brock. A response in order as they take over. Here's first and ten from the 34. Working from the pistol, Prescott. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. New set of downs for him from the 46. Here's Prescott, first and ten. Rifles it, and it's caught. 
And he gets across midfield and into Saints territory. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. That's Lamb running the slant. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Dak off the play fake. Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys go up by two scores. 13 points in the fourth. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? No change to the call on the field, so that play is going to remain a touchdown. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Has this at the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The visitors ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, Carr. He finds Johnson. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Carr now on first and ten. And he's going to be touched down about three yards shy of the marker. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Car here from the gun. Camara's got it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. 
Ball at the 33 for first down. Throwing again, it's Carr. Olave with the catch. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on the drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Taken in by Shaheen. And this is down all the way to the three. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. Working quickly here. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints now within one score in the fourth. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, mm -hmm. the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. The return starts at the 18. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. Another drive coming up for this Dallas offensive unit. And this really looks like a whole different ball game after that touchdown, doesn't it? They really need to go on a drive here. They've got first down from the 31. Back to throw. Here's Dak. It's taken in by Lamb. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. Throwing on first is Prescott. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. We've reached the two-minute warning from Dallas. Cowboys feeling lucky with a seven-point lead. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Elliott straight ahead. And he's brought down for a loss. The defense calls a timeout. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Once again, Elliott. And this one doesn't go far. With 154 remaining, the defense burns a timeout.
So a big kick coming up for Brandon Aubrey. He better get all of this one. It's got a ways to go. The kick is off the mark. No good. And they fail to make this a two-score ball game. They tried for the field goal to really eliminate all shadow of a doubt. And instead, well, let's introduce some doubt into the picture and a little energy on the other side. Kate, it's not quite an automatic win still. They're going to have to get focused defensively and make sure they get a stop to clinch this. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and ten coming up. Looking to throw it. That's complete to Camaro. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason, when one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Running back, motioning right. Here he is to throw. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Now the Saints hustling people forward. They need to get set. Throwing now. Working across the field. Complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 32 on the play. And that gives them first and goal. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Motioning one of the tight ends. To throw. It's caught. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. So now from further back, another try at first and goal. Now to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. It's second and goal. Setting up to pass. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. The Saints call their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. So now, here's third and goal. Back to throw. And he gets up the touchdown. And now they can play for overtime, Brock, or they can go for the lead. So they get the all-important touchdown here late in the game, Brock. Now the question, play for the tie? or go for two and the lead. And I know they've got all these charts and numbers and analytics to tell you what to do, but this comes down <laughs> to the gut and the trust of the head coach. Does he trust his offense more to go get this two-point conversion, or is he going to lean in his defense and believe that they can get the stop? That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up.
Here's Groupie on now to handle the kickoff. Kick ticket in here at the 17. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Cowboys offense now headed back to the field. And they need to get it to at least that 40-yard line to have a shot at the game winner. But there's enough time remaining to work it even closer if things go right. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. He'll look to throw it. Pass complete to his back. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here he is to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. Clock working against him here as they hurry to that line. Here's Prescott, first and ten. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. That's going to do it for regulation. So some bonus football in store for all those fans in the stands. We're headed for overtime. From the jaws of defeat, they snatch this game away. And now we're off in overtime to decide it. Short kick here, fielded at the 15. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. Their offense ready to take the field now. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Elliott running out of the gun. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Right back to Elliott now. Open space inside the 40. And he finally ends up out of bounds after a huge game. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you want to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Elliott. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Here's Prescott. Has 
it in close. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys pull in front. Three touchdown catches in one game is rare air, Brock. Safe to say most guys who retire can name every time they did that here in the NFL. Yeah, I hope he remembers it, but also remember this. Receivers, they're a dependent position. Mm -hmm. They're dependent on the guys doing their job up front. They're dependent on the quarterback putting it on the spot. And usually, when you reach a milestone like this, you would love to share it with everybody else. And my guess, especially if they could find a way to win this one, is this receiver will celebrate it with all of his guys. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. New Orleans back on offense and ready to go now. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They're out and set. First and ten. Now he gets a shot here in overtime. Taking the deep shot there on first down. Okay, no luck connecting. It's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So second down coming up. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They go play action with Khan. And he finds a seam down the middle, complete. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 26. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Carr with it on first. He rifles it, and it's caught. And he's taken down at the 30. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. You know, Brock, I'm going to admit a little bit of surprise here. As pass-heavy as this league has become, that this record isn't at least challenged a little more often. But finally, just like that, someone has conquered it. And now, Kate, now there is a new single-game record for everyone to chase when it comes yes, to those sir. passing yards. I know as a former quarterback, we love seeing this record challenge. And we want to see just how high people will take it in the future. That play good for 17 and a first down. Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. And he sails that one over the end zone. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing again, it's Carr. Nice work by the back here, playing safety valve complete. And he will score, it's a New Orleans touchdown! The Saints cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. Alvin Kamara, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game.
That is his sixth passing score of the game. A lot of quarterbacks could go several weeks without throwing that many touchdowns. And now, keep in mind, he's only one off the NFL record of seven in a single game. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And we're all tied up. on now to handle the kickoff. Returning in from the 16. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. This offense making its way back out now. And the last time they had it, they ran it down the field on him. Not expect some better resistance up front if they try that again. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. First down. Here's Dak. Over the middle. Cox. Complete pass. At the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys need only one to take the lead. And that is his fourth touchdown reception of the game. And if you wonder how rare that is, only a couple of active players have ever achieved it in their careers. And it's been done less than 50 times in league history. So the Cowboys take the win here in Arlington. And it took some extra effort, Brock, some bonus football before they were finally able to separate from the opposition and earn that hard-fought victory. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.